Today, there's something that the Holy Ghost wants me to share. Coming from the book of John chapter 1. You know the verses. Verses 1 to 3. But the whole passage goes all the way to verse number 14. Okay. John chapter 1. I'll, I'll concentrate on verses 1 to 3, but we'll go all the way to 14. The Bible says, in the beginning was the Word. In the beginning was the Word. In the beginning was the Word. It's a very important thing for us to understand that... Um, the way we understand the beginning from the way the world understands beginning, there's a huge difference. The world understands beginning from some freak accident, from some random chance, that by chance, by accident, something became something happened and the worlds became from that accident. And then by the passage of millions and billions of years, accidents kept on happening until something became and that something was you. Oh yes. Are you getting it? Oh, yes. So that's how they explain the whole story of creation. But us, as children of God, we do not understand things from that perspective. We understand things from the scripture. That the scripture tells us very clearly that in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Now, this is a very important understanding because when you look the book, when you got the book of Matthew, there is a genealogy of Jesus there. It gives us where Jesus came from in the book of Matthew. I don't know whether you are with me. I've lost you somewhere. Matthew chapter 1 says, The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. So they pick two pillars these two main, David and Abraham, are the two pillars of the Jewish nation. And they pinpoint the connection of Christ to these two people. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Oh, yes. They connect Christ to David and also to who? To Abraham. Are we together so far? Oh, yes. When you go to the book of Mark... There's no genealogy there because Mark is writing about Jesus as a servant. And in the Jewish culture, you do not present the pedigree or the genealogy of a servant. No one is interested in knowing where the servant or the slave came from. But when you go to the book of Luke, Luke has got a genealogy there of Jesus Christ. And the genealogy in the book of Luke traces Christ all the way to Adam. So that's Luke chapter 3 from verse number 23. Goes all the way going back to Adam in verse number 38. So which was the son of God. So Luke traces the genealogy of Christ all the way to who? To Adam being the first man, and then Adam, the son of God. Now, when we come to the book of John, John is also giving us a genealogy of Christ, but his genealogy does not talk about Christ from a human perspective. Talks about Christ from a divine perspective. Talks about Christ from his eternity. Talks about Christ as someone who was the efficient cause of the beginning itself. So it talks about in the beginning, in the commencement. I don't know whether you're hearing me. 
in the what? In the commencement was the word. So, John does not begin with the idea of a nothing and then accident and then something. John begins with the idea of the word. And the word presupposes the fact that it is something that is living. It's not a nothing. It is a living entity. I don't know whether you're hearing me. Oh, yes. We're hearing it you, is Papa. a living being. And it being in the beginning, then what it means is, in the, whether we talk about billions of years or millions of years going backwards, we're going to start with something called the word. If there has to be something called the word, and that word had to become the beginning, and that word had to cause the beginning, and that word had to be the foundation of the beginning, oh, yes. I don't know whether you're hearing me. Oh, yes. So it does not begin with the idea of a nothing. It begins with the existence of God. Amen. Because in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Therefore, in the beginning was God. In the beginning was God. So, when we look at the book of John, he's telling us that the beginning began with God. God is the beginning. Amen. God is the cause of the beginning. God is the person who was there, who caused the beginning to begin. I don't know whether you're hearing me. And before him, there was him. And after him, there shall be him. Mm. Mm. Oh, yes. You can't go back beyond before him. Amen. Because, <laughs> because when you reach him, you have reached eternity. And therefore, you cannot go outside eternity. You cannot go back beyond eternity. Because the moment you start going backwards, the furthest you can go is in him. Oh, yes. I don't know whether you're hearing me. We hear you, Papa. And once you reach him, you have reached the beginning of everything. You can't go beyond him. You can't go behind him. You can't go above him. You can't go under him. You can't go besides him. You have no way out. Once you reach him, you have arrived. So John says, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. So in other words, whenever we look at John giving us a genealogy of Christ, he is trying to prove to you that Christ is the efficient cause of whatever happened. Because no matter how many accidents may happen, an accident does not build. An accident destroys. Amen. An accident can never bring order. An accident brings disorder. Oh, yes. Yeah, you're not hearing me. No, we are following Papa. Are you following me? Oh, yes. An accident brings what? Disorder, not order. I receive. You see the way this, what do you call this? Flower. Vase. Flower, vase. I will use my mother tongue. This is a flower vase or something. Are you, are you seeing them in the land where they are? Can you see them? That you've got one, two, three. One, two, three. Same. You've got one, one, same. One, one, same. And then you've got the last one there. You've got the last one there. It's orderly. In other words, there was someone with intelligence, someone with wisdom, someone with an intent who put these things in this line. But let's say by some accident, they happen to fly on a jumbo jet 747 and we throw them through the window and they come tumbling down in th after f whatever, seven kilometers. Or, or, no, I don't know how high it is. And they fall in this line by accident. In this order. 
Oh no. Oh no, Papa. <laughs> what are the chances that would happen? It's not even zero. Minus zero. Oh yes. It will never happen. Amen. We may throw them one billion times, it will never happen. Never. Someone said never. Never. So in other words, when you go to the book of John, John is trying to prove to you that there's nothing that can be, that can become without the causation of God. I don't know whether you're oh, yes. me. There's nothing that can be or become without the causation of God. God is the efficient cause of whatever becomes. God is the efficient cause of whatever shall be. Oh, yes. Now, in the beginning was the word. Now, this is so important today. The reason is because most of us, after having this chaos around us, we've come to a place where we're asking ourselves a very important question. Where am I going from here? How will my life look like? How are things shaped out? How are my finances going to look like? How is my career going to look like? How is my things? You have look, you got so many questions which go to the very heart of what I'm talking about today. But God has got an answer for you. The answer that God has for you is in the beginning was the word. In the beginning was the word. If this word was a beginning that caused everything to become, then this word can also be a beginning that will cause everything to become. Oh, yes. mm, you are not hearing me. Oh yes. You are not hearing me today. Are you hearing me? Oh yes. If this word was a beginning that caused planets to be, and these planets, since they became, they are going in, they are rotating, one. Number two, they are going around the sun and they are different, uh, different uh, stars. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. They've never missed a bit. They've never accidentally gone faster or accidentally gone slower. Amen. But they always follow a rhythm that God put them in. Are you hearing me? Oh, yes. They've never missed an orbit. They never missed a, 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 a rotation. They're always moving not only this way, but also as they're moving this way, they're also moving that way. Am I talking to someone right here? And I deal with the solar system, which is also moving. There's nothing stationary in the solar system. Everything is moving in its own order. And the Bible says, in the beginning was the word. And those things began because the word caused them for them to begin. Am I talking to someone right here? Okay. Therefore, I'm here as a prophet to challenge you. It doesn't matter how things may look like today. Things may be so chaotic today, but I've got something to tell you today, that in the beginning, in the beginning, oh, yes. was the word. Someone say yes. Yes. In the beginning was the word. In the beginning was the word. I look at my own life. The other day I was looking at myself, I said, wait a minute. How did I begin to have a beginning? Because my parents never gave me an inheritance. How did I begin to have a beginning? Because my parents never gave me a fat bank, bank account. How did I begin to have a beginning? Because my parents were my spiritual children. They didn't make me become born again. I made them become born again. So in other words, there's a beginning outside my parents. Oh, yes. My parents have never been to Australia. How did, he be, how, did I, how did I begin to have a beginning to come and stay in Australia? When my parents have never been here. I've gone places where my parents have never gone before. So in other words, my beginning was outside my parents. In other words, my existence was outside my parents. I'm not talking to somebody right here. Say yes. Yes. Oh boy. I don't know if I've got young people in the house today. If you're a young person, look at me. Don't you think that your parents are the causation of your beginning. Uh -uh, you are beyond the causation of your parents. You have got a beginning outside your parents. There's a beginning beyond your parents. You shall go where your parents have never gone before. Am I talking to somebody right here? You shall do what your parents have never done before. Why? Because your beginning is beyond the beginning of your parents. Your beginning is not limited to your parents. Your beginning is in the beginning. For in the beginning was the word. So when you begin to embrace the word of God, when you begin to eat the word of God, when you begin to drink the word of God, you, you, you oh my God, master. Oh, yes. You are establishing a beginning beyond the beginning of your parents. 
Are you hearing me? If your parents have gone this far, guess what? The beginning which is your beginning, your beginning is greater than their beginning. Your beginning is eternal than their beginning. Your beginning is grander, more glorious than their beginning. Your beginning shall go higher than their beginning. Am I talking to somebody right here? Oh, yeah. Masaka Listen to me. Some of us have lost everything. Some of us have lost our careers. Some of us have lost our finances. Some of us have lost our livelihoods. And today we are wondering, how am I going to make it? How am I going to turn things around? I've got a word for you. This is a prophetic word for you. Don't be worried. Why? Because in the beginning was the word. And today as a prophet, I'm speaking a word in your life. And this word is the beginning of your beginning. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? Oh, yeah. Say yes. Yes. Listen. Listen. You see? I was praying and I was saying, you know, there are some beginnings which are false starts in life. There are some beginnings which are what? False starts in life. So you may start a career and then somewhere along the way, the career comes to an end. It was a false start. You may start a family and then somewhere along the way, the family collapses. It was a false start. You may have a business. Somewhere in the way the business collapses, it was a false start. You may have something that you are doing. And somewhere along the way, that thing comes to an end. It was a false start. But the Lord taught me, said, my son, go prophesy to my people. That in the beginning was the word. And that word is a foundation. And that word is a causation of beginning. Am I talking to somebody here? Oh, so yes. today is not just a day. But today is a day of beginnings. Am I talking to somebody right here? Oh, yes. Don't you worry about where you have been. Don't worry about what did not work out. Don't worry about what has died. Don't worry about what is not moving. Because today God is going to set a new beginning. Today God is going to begin a new beginning in your life. Am I talking to somebody right here? Say yes. Yes. Your Jehovah God does not need something for something to be. Your Jehovah God does not need you to be at your best for something to come out of your life. Because the word that is the beginning shall be a beginning for you today. Am I talking to somebody right here? You see, when God was beginning, there was nothing. When God was beginning, he didn't need to have something for him to start something for something to begin to happen. Uh -uh. Your Jehovah God is beyond having a something for something to happen. Am I talking to somebody right here? Your Jehovah God made something appear from nothing that was appearing. Oh, yeah. So your job of God is beyond an appearance. Your job of God is beyond tang is beyond tangib tangibility. Uh, is that English? Ah, uh -uh, tangibility. Are you hearing me? God does not need something tangible to come on something that is tangible. He needs a nothing. Am I talking to somebody right here? Oh, yeah. As long as it's a word plus nothing, then something is gonna happen in your life. And nothing plus God, something gonna take place in your life, and nothing plus the word that a foundation can be laid in your life. Am I talking to somebody right here? Oh boy, you're not here what I'm talking about. Master I receive. If the devil thought it is over for you, he made a big mistake. Oh, yes, he made a big mistake. Because your beginning is not outside. Your beginning is in the inside of you. When you've got the word inside of you, there's a beginning inside of you. Am I talking to somebody right here? Say yes. Yes. Masakata mashata katerebezo. I receive. You know, I feel sorry for people who have got a beginning outside them. But you, your beginning has been put inside of you. When Jesus entered into your life, when Jesus entered into your life, when Jesus entered into your heart, a beginning entered inside of you. There's a beginning within yourself. There's a beginning that God has put inside of you. That's why you are unstoppable. That's why you are unlimitable. Am I talking to somebody right here? Am I talking to somebody right here? Oh, yeah. You are unstoppable. You are unlimitable. There's no power in hell that can put you down. There's no power in hell that can stop you. There's no power in hell that can put a limit in your life. Am I talking to somebody right here? Say yes. Yes. Masakata yanterebezo. I receive. Ah. You know, there are some people, they look at you. 
and they put a limit upon your life. They say, oh, this is what you can only do. We know your people, your people can only go this far. They've made a mistake. Because the day you became born again, you were disconnected from your people. You were connected to the word which is the beginning. Am I talking to somebody right here? Your foundation is not upon the shoulders of your parents. Your foundation is upon the word. Your foundation is not where your parents started from. Your foundation is the word of God. And the word of God is the beginning. For in the beginning was the word. When you become born again, you've got a new beginning. You've got a new foundation. You've got a new start somewhere, somehow, which is found in the word. Am I talking to somebody right here? Say yes! Yes! Masakatayande I receive. Oh boy, they may take everything from you. Oh, they may take everything from you. But tell them there's a big mistake you've made. Because you have left me with the word. And the word is the beginning. And the word is the foundation. Oh, yes. I'm going to start a new beginning. Because I've got the word. The word is the beginning. Am I talking to somebody right here? I receive. Ah, they may take your career. They may take your money. Tell them, take, take and get out of here. Oh, yes. Take, take and get out of here. Because you know, there is a beginning in the world. There is a new foundation in the world. And the word shall become. The word shall become. And the word shall become. 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 Ribo sete me kemeria haso. Mantoro bokus keremonda. Are you hearing me? In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. The same was the beginning with God. All things were made by him. All things were made by the word. All things, what are you looking for? All things were made by the word. What are you looking for? All things were made by the word. What are you looking for? All things were made by the word. All things were made by the word. What? Master Tori Bakastelin. I receive. Masha Takataramani. I receive. What have they taken from you? What has the devil stolen from you? Listen to me. All things were made by the way. All things were made by the way. And when the things have been made by the way, that thing is incorruptible. That thing is unstoppable. Oh, yes. That thing is undefeatable. That thing is going to climb every mountain. That thing is going to bring down every, every position. Am I talking to somebody right here? Oh, yes. It is unconquerable. It is undefeatable. Say yes. Yes. I receive. Streams International Prophetic Church. Transforming lives by the power of prophetic revelation. Your lives will never be the same again. Please remain connected at www.streams.org.au And you can also reach us by calling 1300 361 971. Until next time, Shalom.